Hello, I'm Joe McCarthy at Catchpoint, and in this video, I'll be discussing the importance of employee experience monitoring, as this has recently morphed into something none of us could have possibly imagined. Here at Catchpoint, we understand that monitoring the health and well-being of our employees' experience is just as important as monitoring our customers' experience. We call it drinking our own champagne. This has recently compounded exponentially as Catchpoint employees, like the rest of the world, have moved from working in corporate offices to everyone working remotely from home. On paper, it's business as usual, but our employees that are now all remote workers still need access to all the tools and systems needed for their day-to-day -day jobs. We need to know, are these SaaS tools available from anywhere that our employees need to access them? Knowing that performance disruptions can happen for any one of our employees across any number of SaaS applications. I've created a custom dashboard that's looking at all Catchpoint employees' SaaS performance. So I'm looking at the past three days of data, and we're seeing 99.87% availability for all the SaaS applications, which is pretty good. That means essentially that wherever our users are, our employees, they can access the tools and systems that rely on Office 365, Salesforce, and any other SaaS portals. What's also important is that we're continually probing and understanding the performance of these systems across all the areas that our employees are accessing the tools from. As you can see from our maps, we have offices in the US, the UK, and India. And this dashboard provides a great baseline understanding of how key indicators of performance are for our users. For example, when I'm looking at synthetic response times, I want to find out who's performing worse. So I'll click on average response time to bubble up the worst to the top. We can see our users in India that are going through the ISP Reliance are experiencing higher response times, but also higher first paint, higher visually complete, and even average time to interactive. So understanding where our users come from can really impact their performance of all the SaaS tools that they're using. So it's critical to understand this level of detail so you can make educated adjustments if needed. Now this dashboard is leveraging data from our synthetic probes that are deployed globally, which is on the right side. And I'm also capturing data directly from our employees' endpoints in real time, which is displayed on the left. Now when I hover over India, I can see we have a lot of traffic coming from our India office showing 578 page views and with an average response time of their actual machines of about 2.1 seconds. And I can do the same for the United States. So when I hover over the US, I can see how our employees in each of the states that we have folks living at, how their average response time is. So from Massachusetts to Washington State, right down to Connecticut, we can get a good sense as to how employees in these different states are performing. Now, we're relatively a small company of about 250 employees, but we utilize many SaaS tools that we leverage across engineering, sales, marketing, and product teams. What we start to see is there are some critical apps that have to perform well. If they don't, we need to know, are they impacting our users and have users had any poor experience? Tools like Outlook and SharePoint can perform differently compared to our support portal through Zendesk. It's also important to understand that each app can perform differently based on each end user as they're accessing these SaaS apps via their local ISP where before they were using the high-speed corporate network. In these next views, I can see exactly how each employee is performing as they have an endpoint agent installed on their laptop. So now I know exactly where each person lives, the ISP they use, and their performance metrics so I can compare and contrast. I can also see how much traffic is being used per ISP by employee and the employee response time by ISP. When I turn on the legend for both of these graphs, we can see the Comcast cable on both are the highest utilized ISPs. So again, it's more data to use to make informed decisions. It all comes down to having the data points for both your employees and your customers, as understanding how each is performing is critical when it comes to running any business. So I just scratched the surface on the level of information Catchpoint can provide you for employee experience monitoring. For more details on the use case I just presented, please visit Zach Henderson's blog on this subject. And for more information on Catchpoint endpoint monitoring solutions, please visit the link provided. Thanks for watching.